Today we are building the stereo pair of two-way speakers with Punkilde speaker drivers. If you are in the market for a really good performing two-way stand mount, then consider this as a project compared to an off-the-shelf option. You will get way more quality and performance for your money. More on this later though, before I give too much away. Punkilde is a new brand started by Eastec, who also produced a very well regarded ScanSpeak range of speaker drivers. As of the time of this video release, the Punktkilde range of transducers are not yet available through a supplier network. However, Punktkilde was kind enough to send me a few of their first available production units so that I can introduce this new brand to you, do some tests and do a build video. I selected to build a two-way stand mount speaker with a 6.5 inch pulp and carbon fiber cone woofer and the 1 inch aluminium dome tweeter. Construction of these drivers are very very good and the quality is top notch. The pulp and carbon fiber cone of the woofer is stiff and not soft and flexible like a paper cone. The basket is cast aluminium and very sturdy with a big and heavy motor structure or magnet on the back. The tweeter has an aluminium faceplate also with a rather heavy magnet on the back. No doubt the quality of these drivers and I was starting to look forward to put these to the test. After determining the specifications of each driver, and by the way they included a sheet with the driver specs for each individual driver, I designed the enclosure. It is an average size box with a base reflex configuration in the form of a slot port towards the back of the enclosure. It has an internal brace to help reduce cab cabinet resonance. Uh, the construction is very simple and straightforward and I think most people with some woodworking knowledge and a few tools will be able to knock this together. I start the project off by cutting all the required panels from 18mm birch plywood on the table saw. The enclosure will be assembled with butt joints so the cuts are simple and straightforward. Later on you will see I opted to finish the enclosures with only a clear coat but ideally you can veneer this enclosure for a really smart look and feel. Although I do like the natural look and feel of birch plywood and the fact that you can see the edges of the plywood. However, I do realize that this is not everybody's taste and that veneering or painting in a color is definitely an option. The only other panel that is not 18mm birch ply is a 6mm or quarter inch piece of MDF that is glued to the front baffle to thicken it up and allow me to contrast the birch plywood by painting it in a color, in this case a neutral grey that I think works great with the natural light color of the birch plywood. To cut out the holes in the inside brace panel, I use my drill press with a 100mm diameter hole saw for the larger hole and a 40mm diameter Fortsner bit for the smaller holes. I can then use the jigsaw to make the cutout to create the clearance for the motor structure of the woofer inside the enclosure. The panel that makes up the slot port as well as the top and back panels are rounded over with a router bit on the router table. During assembly I'm using these corner spring clamps to help me keep everything in line. They work pretty well and I will put a link in the description below to where you can purchase them if you are interested. I use wood glue and a brad nailer with 25mm or 1 inch nails to secure the panels together. Afterwards I will fill the small holes the heads of the nails leave behind with a suitable wood filler. Up close you can see them but from far away they are not noticeable and besides if you would be near the cabinets which I recommend you do if you choose to build these speakers you will not see these anyway.
The oversized 6mm MDF is glued to the baffle and then trimmed on the router table with a flush trim router bit. After this, we can mark out the positions of the driver mounting holes and use the router with a straight cut bit and router circle cutting jig to cut the holes. The mounting hole for the woofer is beveled on the back to allow for a free flow of air to avoid any potential reflections back onto the woofer cone that can cause some unwanted artifacts in the frequency response. The MDF is coated with a sanding sealer in two coats with sanding in between with 320 grit sandpaper before applying a filler primer and the top coat in the desired color and then finally a clear matte coat of spray can paint. To ease the transition of the baffle to the rest of the enclosure, I cut a shallow rabbit or rebate of 2mm wide and deep around the front edge of the enclosure on the table saw. The finish of the birch plywood enclosure is three layers of water-based matte polyurethane applied with a soft brush. Coming towards the end of the enclosure build, one of the last things to do is glue the baffle in place. I'm using wood glue applied to the inside edges of the baffle panel and using a scrap piece of wood and a few clamps to carefully secure it in place. After taking measurements of the speakers, I could model the crossover and then assemble it on a 6mm MDF board. The crossover is a third order high pass and low pass filter and the modeled frequency response is fairly flat with a crossover point at approximately 1800 Hz. The impedance is a nominal 6 ohms and the minus 3 dB point is at approximately 46 Hz at the low end. Before mounting the crossover inside the enclosure and fixing the drivers in place, I drilled two holes on the back panel for the speaker terminals. All the wires can be soldered and the crossover board mounted inside the enclosure. Self-adhesive weather strip is used to create a seal between the driver and the enclosure before soldering the wires to the drivers and mounting them with screws.
but before I mount the drivers, I fold the enclosure with damping material to reduce internal resonances. This graph shows an actual measured frequency response of one of the speakers. I have done some tweaking after listening test to the final crossover and this is the result I feel works best. The graph looks good with a flat response and slight dip in the mid range. The top end is very slightly raised again and give the speaker a more lively characteristic. The waterfall plot is clean and shows that we do not have any problematic resonances or ringing in the response. So right now, at the time of this video, I do not have any build plans available for this project. However, the moment Punkt Kilde make their drivers available for purchase, I will make it available for purchase on my website. I will definitely give you an update in a future video and also have another exciting Punkt Kilde project coming up in 2020. The Punkt Kilde drivers are certainly very good quality and these particular drivers perhaps have a more lively sound than your typical paper cone drivers. As a result, these speakers have an energetic and dynamic sound signature that I think is very typical of the voicing of your average commercial two-way stand mount speakers these days that will find favour with many people. Detail and bass quality is excellent, the mid-range is also clear and detailed and has a natural sound rather than being too coloured. I do think these will also perform very well as larger near field monitors due to their more flat response and analytical sound. Keep watching this space for an update. Please subscribe and like the video, ring the notification bell and consider supporting my channel by becoming a YouTube member or a patron. I will leave links in the description below. Thanks to all my members and patrons that have been supporting me during 2021 and I wish you all a blessed festive season and a happy new year. Finally, let's play a quick demo. Until next time, adios. Mm, yeah. Time flies, close your eyes. Imagine you could see everybody else's dream. What a comfort it would be. to be But you can never walk alone on your way to being free Ooh, We're only human after all Ooh, Nothing can make us fall apart I'm ready to answer
tracks A light that died with the night You and I We got our differences Yet I thought we were more alike than unlike Monster rain and chest pain What's the plan? Heavy breathing, stay insane Grab my hand Everything is gray inside this narrow man